Hey guys, I'm CG Smoothie and welcome back to another Unity and Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to import any armature and skinned meshes that you have from Blender into Unity. So I just have this little guy who has two animations, running and a jump. So if I take him, if I select the rig and then him, and I go into export FBX into my Unity project, which I called import tutorial. I limit to selected objects, turn on FBX unit scale, and export guy.fbx. If I go into my Unity project, here he is standing there. Let's reset his transform and double click on him in the inspector or in the hierarchy. So we have him, but his, his texture didn't load. So go into assets, import new asset. Uh, find your texture, which if you didn't already save your texture, go into the texture paint, find your texture, save it. I already have it saved. So in import Unity tutorial, just take the base texture PNG and it should already apply to it, but you might want to make another material just to make it better and just drag the albedo in there and then yeah, so you have that, but where are his animations? He doesn't have animations right now. So if we go into the guy prefab, you see this tab that says model rig animation materials. If we go into animation and rig action, we can call this walk and go from zero to, I think I had him stop walking at 35. So zero, 1 to 35 it loops so we have that and then we can get another rig action and we'll call this one jump and we'll go from 36 to 57 so just 36 to 57 and make sure if you have a looping animation you turn on loop and if not you just leave it ticked off let's see the jumping animation worked now just apply both of that and in your animator for the guy, or make an animator, oh, you got to make a, a controller. So just create animator controller guy. Apply that to the guy. And just drag in these animations, walk and jump. And then you can change those in code with a transition and some bools and stuff. And yeah, you have your animation, so you should be walking right now. And he is. So that's gonna be it for this tutorial. I don't know why he's jumping. Probably because there is no conditions. So yeah, that's why you would wanna do it in code. If I delete this, should go back to walking and he did. So that's gonna be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys were helped out and now you can get your characters into Unity with little to no hassle. And if you liked it, Please subscribe and check out my other videos for more Unity tutorials and Blender tutorials. And leave a like so other people can find this as well. Thank you for watching, and with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!